Let's get ready to hop on call. Maybe I'll stream snipe Anna. Oh, Anna's stream sniping me. What is this? Look at this. It's me. <laughs> oh, she was just watching my stream. Unmute. <laughs> oh, God. Hi, Anna. We're on a delay, so this is weird. It's a weird way to communicate. but I guess we can talk through this way too. Yeah, we'll have to like wait five seconds after we talk to each other. <laughs> Do you want to hop into a call already? Yeah, let's hop into a call. That sounds like a great idea. All right. Well, it's very good to have you here. I'm so excited to have the Duck Master with me. Um, I've been told that you're one of the best duck chess players in the whole world, and that is very, very, very exciting uh, to to be able to learn from the best. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for this. Um, I, I I don't know if there's an official duck master title yet, but um, I, I've been trying to grind my way like up the leaderboards. Um, there there's some like really serious duck chess players that I haven't passed yet that I'm I'm striving striving to get into like the second or first place but it's it, it takes a lot of a lot of time and effort to to raise a duck rating <laughs> of course of course i didn't know actually that there were like uh, duck standings what is your like official like duck standing in the world do you know so if you go to like the there's a um the leaders tab on the chess.com slash variance page and then under duck chess blitz like there's different duck ratings for like duck chess blitz and duck chess rapid most people play blitz i'm currently number four on the leaderboard but the the true duck master is dragon b70 who's over 100 points higher than the, the second spot uh, with a duck rating of 2212 so someday so maybe we'll we'll have a match <laughs> so the world mass the world like best duck chess player in the world is 2200 in duck chess basically that that's the highest rating yeah although we yeah. haven't played any games yet so uh i'm curious how i would fare against him but uh it's such a new variant like it was only added to chess.com within the last few weeks that um like there's no one that has long-term experience maybe apart from like the founder of duck chess because this yeah. variant was actually invented in in 2016 um and uh, only recently made its way to uh, be playable online. But you're one of the people that has really popularized duck chess, right? So, I mean, it's a lot thanks to you that duck chess has become as big of a thing as it has been. So that is super awesome. Oh, Chat, yeah, give, <laughs> continue the claps to Eric. Cla Eric has done a big job here. Well, it's really cool. It's really cool. I mean, I just like streamed it as like kind of an experimental thing a few weeks ago seeing that was a newly added variant and there was already kind of this meme in my chat with with ducks because a few years ago i got chased by a goose that i thought was maybe a duck but what? Um, together that, that's a whole different story but uh the fact that there's a duck chess variant it was uh it was very intriguing for me and i i did not expect people to be so fascinated by this game but it's such a great game because there's such a simple rule change that just creates a whole different world of possibilities so would you want to like hop into uh playing a game and then talking through it i i had a few different ideas like we could we could play against each other and just keep it educational we could maybe team up against someone um of course in like a casual game but uh, yeah. I'm flexible. I think that sounds good. I think that we could just like hop into, we can start with one game and then we can talk through the game and we can do a couple like educational games. And then maybe, I mean, I know I'm going to get crushed, but it would be really fun to play one game against you. <laughs> Even though I, I, I'm 100% sure I'll get crushed, but it would be really fun. Do you want to just start with that? And then that, that can be like a jumping off point for sure. kind of like some lessons and patterns and everything. Um, sure, sure. You can teach me everything that I did wrong. I, I think that sounds good, yeah. I'll challenge you to five plus four. That's kind of the standard okay. um, time control. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, there we have it. I, All right. I think I made it rated, so if you, if you win, you'll, you'll farm me for a lot of rating points. Let's go! <laughs> I'll get like 100 rating points. Okay, so 
Wait, do you think that is it good to start with like? Oh no, wait, I wasn't Oops. supposed to put the duck. You on meant there. to put the duck on B two, right? Yeah, that was a duck slip. No, this is actually a duck slip. <laughs> I just pressed somewhere. Okay, but um, is it good to start with moves like this? Yeah, um, I, I've seen a lot of players do this, and it's kind of one of the <laughs> metas of duck chess. I'm just kind of doing the same thing, and now we get to a situation very early where. The duck is going to have to stay on this long diagonal to uh, kind of save both of our bishops. Yeah. Okay, and what, like... Okay, now I'll just try to develop. I guess okay. I'll just develop. Yeah. Yeah, and early on, like, I think it's it's important to, like, still stay with basic chess principles of, like, develop your knights and bishops, try and fight for space, although we're playing kind of a more modern setup. What do you think about like an H4, H5 setup? Ooh. Um that would make that would make sense against a pawn on G6, for sure. Uh the drawback of playing H4, H5 is there's cases where I would take the H pawn and then block your rook on the H file and then ensure you can't take back. So oh yeah. I just thought if that would like destroy your king a bit. Yeah, um, yeah. There's um I think there's different patterns when it comes to attacking in this game that mm. even if you ruin my king's eye pawn structure it's not so unsafe for me because the like with the addition of the duck it's such a good defender that my king can be wide open and it can be yeah. still very hard to attack so you're never like scared if, so much about your king like even in open positions for the most case yeah like compared to normal chess king safety is much less of a concern in this game yeah um, that i think is like once you understand that, you you can be a little bit more wild with how you kind of treat like uh, how how you expose your king. I keep on thinking that the duck is a knight. That does happen to you too. That happened to me like the first day I played duck chess because it it has a similar shape as a knight. But um, yeah, after playing this enough, I've realized it's it's, its own creature and <laughs> it's um yeah, it's kind of like distinguishing between and like a deer and an elk eventually you'll learn the difference yeah no i i think i will i'm just uh i'm just very new to it still mm -hmm. but um i i like it i really do okay so i'm trying to put the duck on f6 that your knight cannot uh go out but now you're gonna castle queenside i suppose i have a different idea i'm actually like you, you've given me an opportunity in this position and uh -oh. oh no it's a common situation in duck chess where a pawn attacks a knight and now I can place a duck to take away your retreating square. And now you have to figure out what to do with your knight. <laughs> okay, so what if... What if... Because you really want to exchange your bishop for my knight, right? That's, uh, yeah, that's one of my goals. I think knights I can are, do this, maybe. are more powerful in this game. Ah, that's yeah. interesting. So, yeah, you prevent bishop takes e5. I will take and I will play this. Okay, so I will do the same thing. I'll just stop you from taking mm -hmm. it. Now, it looks like your bishop defends e-pawn, but uh, whenever there's like a distant defense like this, I'm happy to take and then oh. block the defense. But what if... Wait. Wait, I feel like... Wait, wait, I feel like there is something here. You're, you're looking for like the skewer tactics, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, the, the problem is wherever you eventually place a duck, I can always put the duck back on C3. So I know. you can never like fully unleash the diagonal. Um, it's very sad. There's sometimes exceptions to this. If you like, if you make some additional threat. Okay, I'll just do this. Yeah, that, that's interesting. Yeah, because now I have to ensure I don't lose my Happy queen, birthday, especially Eric. my king. But uh, I'll yeah, this that's what I'm, I'm trying to attack a lot of things at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Which is a good strategy oh, but... generally. That's good. Wait, I have an idea. Okay. 
What happens? And then the duck. And then... What happens if I do this? Ooh. Okay, so... Oh, I'll show you what happens. Free bishop. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looked like you made a triple attack there, but it's with, with the duck. It's so easy to like get out of trouble. <laughs> I was, I was so excited. I was calculating all the things Congrats, of like Eric. queen takes bishop, mm. and then the duck has to move, and then I was calculating everything. If I didn't have yeah. my bishop on b seven, that would have been a brilliant idea. Because then you would essentially force win my queen or king. I appreciate the positivity. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, but this is how you learn. Is uh, yeah, you you walk into these failed tactics, and um, hopefully you'll you'll avoid them for next time. <laughs> Wait, I have a plan now again. Okay. I'll go here and here. Uh huh. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. What if I go now, queen check, and then mm. here? That's actually really interesting. I, I was just thinking about that. Um, this is the plan with queen g4. Yeah. And now, now it's actually getting crazy because my, my king, my bishop, my rook, and my queen are all in danger. But I can I can deal with it. I think I can take your bishop and then block the check with the duck. Mm. And I guess I can... Can I not go check and then here? Ooh. Wow. So now you're attacking you're basically attacking my king, but my rook is also in danger. So I have a couple options here. I could I could move my king and then play duck b7. There's also a really funny move, which I'm kind of tempted to play. What's the funny move? Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. I just have to calculate. I think it worked. I think it's okay, actually, to save my king and rook. So one thing in this game is you can castle into check. Like, there's actually no official, like, concept of check in this game. But if you leave oh. your king attacked, you have to usually use a duck to block the attack. Okay, I so, see what you... Yeah. <laughs> I save my king and my rook. Yeah, yeah, that was actually really nice. And this okay. looks terrifying for me, but the, the duck is going to keep me safe, hopefully. That is actually very pretty. Thank you. So, what if I go... Thank you, Nathan. Thank you. Um, What if I go queen check and duck b8? Yeah, that, that's one way of uh, forcing my king to move. Okay, I'll see what happens. Yeah. Queen check. And then duck b8. Yeah, okay, you're go you're going to win some pawns here. Um, I'm going to try and cut my losses. Make sure you can't take on d5. This is kind of <laughs> sad because I'm about to uncastle. <laughs> Okay, I mean, it doesn't really matter where I go. Yeah, let me run back to safety. So you're just going to run, and I'll just pick up all your pawns. Are pawns important in this game at all? Oh, yeah, pawns are still, like, long-term. If you can win enough pawns, you can... Um, they, they can be very useful in the end game. If you have, like, two past pawns, the duck can only stop one of them. Okay. But here, we're going to see another uh, very common type of quactic is I take the rook and I block your own rook. Oh, 
no, not Another the case quack sticks again. Defense. Yeah, you, you were oh. too busy taking my pawns. <laughs> no, I was so excited about the pawns. Wait, but what if queen check and duck here? Yeah, that's a fair move. Yeah, I have to be careful. I have to continually save my queen being attacked by the rook. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that you can do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, what if... Wait. What if queen check and duck here? Hmm. Wow. That's actually fascinating because you're attacking my rook. You're atta you're basically pressuring my king and my queen. Um, I have a really funny response as to play this and this. <laughs> Playing this move, I defend my queen. Wow. And I kind of defend my rook. Yeah, because I can't really move anywhere. Wait, that is like the prettiest move I've seen. Thank you. Yeah, there, there's a whole different aspect of geometry in this game. This is insane. I'm going to get flagged if Watch I'm not your careful. Time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get flagged. This is very intense. Wow, that is actually so pretty. I would never have found that move, I feel like. Yeah, when you play Was this game enough, you'll you'll start to find all the the cool tact or all the cool quactics. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's just do this. I'll just stop you from moving around. I'm gonna have to go very fast now. Hmm. I feel like rooks suck in this game. Yeah, rooks are um very easily blocked by the duck. Uh, my time. Okay, no mercy. The quactics continue. No, 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 no. Oh, I no, you're queen. <laughs> oh, no, I blundered really badly. No, okay, okay, okay. Wait. No, okay, no, I'll resign. I'll resign. Okay. If you want to play I'll on, resign. it's sometimes interesting to see how the game can finish. But okay. I, know, I know it's a pretty brutal position here. <laughs> Okay, we can play on a little bit, just so you can show me. Just to try and show the final uh, duck mate. Final duck mate. <laughs> oh, no. Because, yeah, checkmates work a little bit differently in this game. Oh, no. What do we do? Okay, here we go. Okay. And one thing I'm actually, like, I'm still not that great at is finishing off a game with, with like, such a huge material advantage. It's not so intuitive. No. No, it feels Over really here. difficult. Nice. That was the only, only way to survive. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. So, I guess I'll have to try to get stalemated. Yeah, it's very difficult to get stalemate in this game because um, you you can usually move your king into check. Okay, how do I how do I smother mate? <laughs> oh, let's play this and then uh, then this. Oh, you're just gonna take with the okay. Yeah, the knights are too strong in this game. You're just going to go queen h2 now, right? Queen h2, yeah. Yeah, this is a common mating idea with the knight. And then I'll the just... You can you can take my king, Eric. Get the satisfaction. Yeah, all right. Zero Good point game. seven uh, oh, points thanks for, out thanks there. Thanks for the rating. Yeah. <laughs> Less than a point of rating. Okay, so what was... Uh, what, what, was what were my biggest mistakes? Yeah, I think um, this moment on move nine, when you played d4 and duck f6, once oh, once you allowed me to play e4, this this is kind of the turning point. Okay, so I cannot because allow I was you able to play to win, e4. Um, I, I was able to win material. Like, I, I won at least a pawn. And, um, yeah, it's... Like, and this is a common 
sort of opening trap is when the pawn attacks the knight, you really have to make sure that your knight's not getting like stranded or you have to go to a square where you just lose material. Um, it was still interesting. Like you, you try to conjure up these tactics of like attacking along the long diagonal and trying to exploit my king. But uh, yeah, unfortunately for you, it didn't quite work out so, uh, so smoothly. It never worked out at all. <laughs> Very sad. So instead of on move nine, instead of d4 and duck f6, an interesting yeah. option would be d4 and duck e4, preventing me e from playing pawn e4. Oh, duck e4. Oh, okay. And this is actually like, I I've seen this um, in a bunch of my own games is like when you go for a pawn break, you just prevent your opponent's pawn from advancing and you only give them option of taking or if I don't take, then you're able to take on E5 next move. Yeah. So that's a very um, nice move, I think move, this would actually. have been a bit, a bit more balanced. Yeah. I think that I, a lot of times, like I just basically put the ducks like on F6 or next to the king because I know that I want to stop the development but sure. I think I forgot about everything else I want to do as well in the game so yeah um, there are some mm -hmm. people that are asking me how would you rank the piece value in duck chess like how much is each piece worth that's a great question yeah and it's like I don't know um, I, I haven't played this enough but I, I can say for sure knights are of course better than bishops because they're less obstructed by the duck and we saw in this game, like, bishops can very easily be just completely dead if I keep, like, along the long diagonal, that's usually a good bishop. But if I keep putting the duck on c3, it's kind of like a dead piece. And knights aren't restricted in the same way. Um, yeah. So, but the other thing is, I've realized that in a lot of openings, it can be easy to trade bishop for knight. And this is maybe like a, a positional idea to keep in mind. Um, I'm not sure how you could have achieved it. Mm. If we go back, like in the... So actually, I, I, I made a small positional mistake on move five. If, if you go after uh, knight bd2 and duck f6 in our game, yeah. what I should have done is played bishop takes f3. I think this oh, yeah. is just a like a simple good decision because long term uh trading bishop for knight is is going to be very good for the side that keeps the two knights. Yeah. Makes um, sense. Yeah. And how would you rank knights versus rooks? Yeah, I I think knights are more powerful than rooks. So if if the yeah. situation ever arises where you can play rook takes knight and quote unquote sack the exchange, that's actually probably a good thing in duck chess. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that's what I wanted that's what I wanted to know. Yeah, because rooks was... are kind of similar to bishops where imagine you have a rook uh on an open file. If you just put the the duck on the square in front of the rook, then the open file is blocked. Yeah. But you Makes you sense. were talking about this H4 idea um to like try and open each file but a duck on h2 would uh just prevent the the power of the rook yeah the rooks are never powerful okay yeah. that makes sense yeah okay interesting all right i feel like i've learned something here do you want to go for one more game yeah let's do it okay let's do this game number two all right let's see if there's any improvement here it was crazy how you found like these really beautiful tactics before Okay, yeah, I'm not going to hold back, but hopefully I'll, it'll still be instructive. And, uh, <laughs> you're not going to hold back. I like that. <laughs> I see you're going for this um, similar opening, which I can't stop bishop g7. So. I think I'll just double fianchetto my bishops. That's reasonable. Although now that you've told me you want to double fianchetto your bishops. Oh no, why did I do that? <laughs> no! I think you, you meant so to play duck e6, right? <laughs> telling him this i'm really telling a duck master what i'm gonna do so okay i think it's a very important part of this game not to get too 
upset that the duck is blocking your plan. It's always going to be the case where the duck's going to get in the way. And sometimes you just need to create multiple, at least in the opening, you have to create multiple avenues of development. So okay. yeah, that's a fine move. And you're, you're allowing for knight e7 or knight f6. Wait, um, why am I not stopping you though? I just realized. Yeah, I'm not there's, you, from <laughs> you put the duck back on uh, c6 there. <laughs> I guess you're guaranteeing knight c6, but I'm not sure if that's a movie you want to play. I just, I just realized that I'm not doing anything to stop you. I'm just thinking of my own pieces. Okay, mm -hmm. b6, I'll stop your bishop now. <laughs> your stream quacks me up. Okay, I'm stopping your bishop. <laughs> well, I'll stop your bishop again. Come on, Eric, don't go duck B7. Oh, no. Okay, I'll go duck G2. Okay, so what I did was I, I gave my bishop two directions to develop, like G2 or um, on this longer diagonal. So G3 looks a little bit weakening, but I think it was, it was worth it just to develop my bishop. You kind of did the same thing there. Okay. I should have castled instead of gone bishop D7. Um... Yeah, casting maybe would have been nice to, because now I'm gonna <laughs> continually put the duck on that face. Oh no. oh no! What did I enter my? Okay, wait. I just realized it's so annoying when you realize every single one of your mistakes right after you make them. Yeah, okay. I, I don't think like, uh, um, I don't think it was a huge mistake though. It's fine if your king's in the center. Like your king's still super safe. That's true. Maybe my king can stay in the center. Yeah, like I, I think castling is a little bit overrated in, the, in this game. Like a lot of people okay. castle, but um, not sure how necessary it is. Because mm. usually in chess, like you castle to get your king safe, but your king's going to be safe regardless with the presence of the duck. Yeah, the duck is a very strong piece. F5 is an interesting move. Oops, I have to make a move. When my first. mom says that something is interesting, she means that it's terrible. Is it the same thing for you, Eric? Um, well, F5 is interesting in the sense where it could be terrible, but it could also be brilliant. It's some, oh, okay. somewhere in between. I'll take that. I'll take that. Awesome. Um, what do we do here? This. Okay, so what if I do what you told me to do? What if I do this and then duck here? Ooh, preventing d5. Now it's getting really messy. A ton of tension here. Okay, I'm so trying, in, in normal yeah. chess, there's a concept of like of attackers and defenders, right? So there, there's two defenders for you on e5 and two attackers for me on e5. Oh, you're just going to take, 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 and then I can duck block six. one of your defenders. Yeah, uh, I just realized duck of six. Okay, I just realized duck of six. So, how do we do this? This? Okay, but maybe... Oh, uh, you'll always be able to go duck of six, right? Okay, so I guess I'll take here. And... Yeah, you're just gonna go duck f6 anyways. It doesn't really matter where I Yeah, once duck. I have the duck on the square, I'm like guaranteed to access that, that square with the duck long yeah. term. Okay, so. This, this. Hmm. Okay, what if I try to re. What if I just try to like make my bishop make my bishop good again? To do something like this. Mm. Interesting. You're pressuring my bishop on e4. Okay, we'll uh, we'll trade a little bit. Okay, so you're just gonna okay. Um. 
All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll just go in here and I'll try to block you with everything. Just try to make it messy. I think you're I handling this well. Like you, you did lose a pawn, but it's really not the end of the world for you. And you have everything defended now. I feel like in duck chess, losing a pawn, it's like really not as bad as in normal chess. Yeah, yeah. The like, even like being up a piece in duck chess, it's um, much less of an of an advantage. Like I've uh, realized, it's it's much easier to fight back with a duck. But when do you think we'll have duck engines, Eric? I'm hoping never. I feel like engines would just ruin this game. <laughs> um, yeah, fair enough. But, fair enough. I mean, it would it would be interesting though to like see how an engine would play this. Um, and it will probably happen at some point. Someone's going to make an engine and we'll have to adjust to it. But that's one of so the... So you got to enjoy. Yeah. It's, it's one of the things that have, has drawn me to this game is there's no no way to like computer cheat yet. <laughs> so Yeah. Hoping it stays that way for at least a little bit longer. For sure. Now we got to enjoy the, the weeks or however long it is mm -hmm. uh, before an engine comes out with this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's probably someone working on an engine at, at this already in the yeah, world. Yeah, you but... think so. Okay, let's develop. Avoid the queen. <coughs> Avoid the queen trade. Avoiding bishop takes knight. I really want to go bishop takes knight. I really, really want to do it. Mm. So this duck. Okay, you know what? I feel like I gotta move my. I feel like I need to get my queen out of here. Mm -hmm. Just gonna just gonna try to pressure you a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying to like make sense of like it's it's getting messy already. Yeah, I don't really know what's happening, Eric. <laughs> if I'm gonna be completely honest. I mean, I don't fully know what's happening too. But I'm gonna go for a slightly speculative sacrifice. Ooh! Oh no, my pawn. A true oh no, my pawn moment. But how does this sacrifice work here? So what if I just go here? Mm -hmm. Let's play this and. You've already figured this out and it feels like you know what you're doing. Oh no. It's tricky because you're attacking my knight with your bishop, so. I think your queen might be trapped. Did you trap my queen? No, but what if I just. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Wait. No, there has to be something. You would think there's something here, yeah. <laughs> you would think but there's nothing. <laughs> Wait. No, I can't take the night because after well I can, but that's probably what I have to do, but I mean, like, takes, and then the queen takes, and then, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I'm not getting it back. I probably have to take it, though. Takes, I mean, this is the best move I see, to be honest. I will have to sacrifice my queen for the knight, and then I'll have to go somewhere, but I'm not sure where I'm going to go. But okay, I'll just do something like this. You'll have to take it, and then you'll just block your bishop. I, I yeah. think that was a reasonable choice. Um, at least you're getting some material for it. Yeah. And then I'll be able to take this and... Uh, I'll let it go here. I'm not sure how great this is for me, actually. Like, even though I just won the queen, you're pretty much guaranteed to win my knight next move. Unless I can somehow save it. I thought uh, you said that you should sack knights for rooks, but maybe that's just if it's an exchange, sack not rooks a full for rook. Knights. Oh, rooks for knights. But yeah, you're, sorry, you're sorry. doing a great job of holding on to both of your knights, so. <laughs> I've been trying. To, hard to get rid of your knights so far. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just do this. Get mm -hmm. the other knight. 
Yeah, at least, at least now you're knightless. That is always something. So I think that what I'll do is that I'll castle and... Yeah, this is actually a fascinating material imbalance because it's, uh, it's queen for two knights, although thanks for the rook. <laughs> no mercy. saying oh. oh no and i was like where is the oh no like what's happening and then i and then i realized that the oh no was the rook oh no i've realized this duck is piece. more prevalent in duck chess is like it's so easy to overlook like easy like like simple chess tactics it's not even a duck tactic duck was not involved oh in... my time well, that's another concern <laughs> <laughs> thanks eric for the reassurement <laughs> oh you're now you're almost trapping my queen I know, I'm trying. Was this all planned? Of That's course insane. it was, Eric. Yeah. I oh, wait, no, acting. no. I'm, my, my, queen, my queen's attacked. I can, I can save it with the duck. I was looking for queen moves there. Okay, don't hurt me. Oh no. Oh no. Thank you, Chip, for the chance. Oh, I blundered. Ah, uh, it ain't easy when it's hard. Ah, uh, I blundered the little time. No mercy that here. Yeah. Chess is, is crazy when you have little time. Like, you just get so stressed. It's hard to My play the time. My nights are scramble. gone. Yeah, yeah, everything just disappeared. Oh, that was so, so good though for such a long time. Okay, okay. I feel I feel very motivated now, Eric, for the next one. You have potential, yeah. Do you actually think let's, so? Let's take my rook and let's. As long as this. you don't hang like your rooks and keep giving me free material. <laughs> oh, that's Ooh, free queen. Ooh. Just as I say that. <laughs> Okay, time for some endgame technique. It's actually one thing, like I haven't had so much experience in endgames yet, so I don't know. I assume winning pawns is a good start. Try to block you. Okay, that was a very annoying move, actually. C. That was an extremely annoying move. I'll have to try this, maybe. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to somehow... Trying to self-stalemate. Yeah, I'm trying to self sell me, but Ooh. Oh, I should have played Duck H eight. Okay. I don't think I need How to do I those. self stalemate? I am so confused on how to self stalemate. Oh, yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So yeah. it, it's very hard to self stalemate because, like, for example, towards the final position, King G1 and King G2 are always legal moves for you. Like, you, you could put your king next to my king yeah, in situations where your king has, like, no safe squares. So, so how would you tell me? Like, would you actually have to be surrounded by a box of pawns? Basically, yes. Yeah. Like you if you imagine um I think the simplest example I'm 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 trying to imagine 
how that would even work. Oh man. There there's some like imagine um can you see my circles? If you close out of like the white one, you can see oh, my yeah, circles, right? Yeah. So imagine it's an empty board. White has pawns on h7 and g7 and yeah. a king on h8. And that's all yeah. white has. And then let's say the opponent moves and puts a duck on g8. Then white, then that's an example of stalemate because the pawns are going this way. The king can't move. The duck blocks a pawn from promoting. That would be an example of a stalemate. But the opponent would have to kind of willingly stalemate white with the duck. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be so funny. Yeah, it would just have to be like a troll game or something. Right. Okay. Okay, I see. I see. Um, wait, who's saying this? You two stop playing duck chess, someone said in chat. Okay. Um, all right. Well, should we go for okay, one more. I, I really okay. feel like I'm getting there. I feel like I'm improving for every game that we're playing with each other. So Yeah, you're getting better. It's... Yeah. A lot of a lot of this is just getting experience. It's yeah. kind of like um What's a good analogy? It's kind of like driving a car. Like the way that you become comfortable, you have to go on the road, maybe experience a few crashes, but... Experience a few crashes? <laughs> maybe that wasn't the best analogy, but <laughs> it's a much safer way of uh, kind of learning the ropes. Eric, I don't know how to drive. I don't have a driver's license. Oh, okay. Maybe that wasn't the best analogy then. <laughs> no, I'm scared now. I don't want to have a couple crashes before I learn how to feel safe. Yeah, I guess maybe like riding a bike, like you just need to... Uh, I don't know you how to ride to... a bike either. Oh, no. Okay. Well, it's um, it's like learning anything in life. Is you have to... Uh, you just have to start. You'll, you'll maybe face some challenges along the way, but... <laughs> it's like being a pedestrian and trying to walk. <laughs> yeah. Almost one year, analogies. smiling face with hearts. Okay, I'll keep my, my plans going, my theoretical plans here. Okay. Okay. Ooh. How do I get anywhere? By public transport. Mm. Go here. <clears throat> oh, you're just straight up going another way. Are you going to go knight g4? Maybe. Knight g4 and then bishop f2 and then duck f1, duck mate. No, I will not let you. I will, yeah, I will do everything to stop you. Oh no, my duck. There, there'd be a lot of ways to stop that with the duck. <laughs> I probably should just have... You scared me. That was a terrible place to put my duck. I could have stopped your duck your castles, but I got so scared of the knight g4. That was so stupid. Yeah, okay. there's a concept in duck chess, basically, <laughs> basically like bluffing. Like I'm, I'm trying to scare you with one idea so I can go for a, a completely different idea. Okay. Well, I will have, I will have a good idea too. So this, hey, okay. Eric, do you see my bishop on on b2? I do. I'm not too scared yet, though. It's going places. Okay. You're going super aggressively this game. I'm. I'm trying. I'm trying to use my my pawns. Pawns are meant to be pushed. Wow. Well, you're also going super aggressive. So I am. I had I'm to at this back. point. Ooh. Oh no, that oh, I trapped my I trapped my own <laughs> Okay. Wait, it's not trapped. It's not trapped. It's you, just... you do have a move here. You know, there is a move to I think save the situation. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll try to take yours. Yeah, sometimes when you're trapped, the best approach is to counterattack. I think it's working out for you. Okay, well, we'll have some funny trade. Long 
you if I don't lose my bishop. This and uh, that was just something here. Hmm. Are you still not scared of my bishop on b2? Um, not really. I'm really trying Except to make it Except now I'm kind of scared, but for other reasons. Oh, yes, wait. Is that not a free queen? I just hung a queen, <laughs> yeah. Yes! <laughs> oh, that is unfortunate. It's like, e even though I've been playing this game for two weeks, it's it's still so easy to make these uh, sort of mistakes. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Come back here. You still have the knights. So it's still a long game to go. Oh, what did I do? I tried making a move, but it didn't go through. Oh, I had that bug before as well. I but I, I had to, to refresh. refresh. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Now I okay. got it. Yeah, there I'm, it is. I'm still refreshing. So hopefully I didn't break the server by blundering my queen. <laughs> <laughs> You know what would be cool? If they created the Rosen duck chess opening. Like, you could get your own chess opening in Ooh. duck chess. I'll, later, I'll have to show you. There, there is an opening trap I discovered that I've, I've been beating a lot of people with. It's like a five-move opening trap where you you basically duck mate in five moves. A lot Ooh, of people walk into it. I want to see it. that. Yeah. Mm. And this. Mm. I'm going to try to duck mate you. Don't hurt me. Oops. Oh, you allow me to go duck mating on G7, but you're just going to take my queen. I just realized I'm not falling so easy wow. for that, Eric. That was a good yeah, try, though. Queen G7 would be checkmate in normal chess, but yeah, good yeah. job and being aware of the danger. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if I can't... Wait, but what if... What if I went bishop takes and then here? Wow. Wow, you're, you're reaching high-level quactics here. Thanks, Eric. That means a lot coming from you. I completely overlooked. I'm just getting crushed here. Uh -oh. If I beat you in one of these games, I'm going to self-acclaim myself a duck master because I beat a duck master. Uh, that's only fair, I guess. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I guess the most important thing is just to take your knight, so. Um Okay, so taking the knight and where do we go with the duck? This, this, go there. Okay, let's go here. That was another great move. A G7. Hmm. Just to stop you from going duck g7 yourself. Oh. Oh, okay. You just moved there. I'm um, down. I'm down a queen and a knight. Oh, no. And. A lot of oh. material to be down. Oh, wait. You're. So, what happens if I. 
Okay, you know what I want to do? I just want to take your your knight. I don't care. Yeah, you can take my rook. Uh oh. Um. Okay, so we'll just go for this. I'm kind of scared about your the open files in front of my king, but you better be scared. You're my but duck. I better be. <laughs> um. So, queen here and. I'll probably move the duck back. <laughs> I feel like you're now going to use all the quack ticks that you know. Yeah. That's my intention. Yeah, this to stop the blundering and try to fight back here. Now the question is, will I be able to win it, though? Because it's not easy, even if even if we're up a lot of material. Mm -hmm. Not easy. This. I don't want to put some. This kind of want to put some intense music. Okay, no. Wait, no. That took me out of my concentration. Um, that was a really nice move, actually. Thank you. Getting a little worried. I'll Ooh. do this. I wanted to put some tense music on, but I couldn't handle it. <laughs> it became too tense. Oh no! Wait, I have I my my thing froze. Uh oh. Did you make a move? I did make a move. No! Wait, I'm Am I gonna be I saved by the duck server gods? No! No! My did duck it thing? froze? No! Yeah, it froze. Oh, I feel no! bad. No! No! I feel really bad. You were just crushing me that game. No, it's all. Oh, what a sad finish. I would have given you more time, but I don't think there's a way to give you more no. time. No. I was going to win that. I was going to win that. That is so sad. Why did it crash? I don't get it. I don't get it. The game is gone now for me, too. The game's gone? Yeah, I can't uh, see it. Can you see my arrows? Or no? Nope. I mean, I completely, I completely oh, lost no. that game. It's like you were playing so well, you broke the servers. <laughs> I can't believe I broke the servers. Oh, that's frustrating. That was my one chance. That's a bit relieving <laughs> for me. I mean, you you were finding all the tactics, uh, like winning my queen and then the knight. I can't believe that. That was like it was like I'm never gonna get such a winning position against you again. Yeah, that was like a serious wake up call for me. <laughs> Wait, that was wait. So what's I, um, I? I don't understand. Okay, wait. Okay, wait, can we do one last duck game? One last I need to game? get some okay. sort of okay, some sort of revenge. This, this time, really, no mercy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no mercy. Sure. Challenge. Okay. There we go. All right. One more. Okay. This is the final one. I will. No mercy. This game, Eric. Okay. No mercy. No mercy okay. for me either. No. No. The best chess. The best duck chess that there is out here is what we're gonna play now. Releasing all my secret duck strategy. Yeah. I actually okay. Eric, can you please blunder a queen this game too? <laughs> no, to not not intentionally. <laughs> okay, okay well, let me try and confuse you a little bit. <laughs> uh 
Oh no. That actually is a bit confusing. But I don't think it's that conf maybe it is. What? Is this a quack tick? It's a uh it's a small opening trick. Is it a trick? Like is it over? No. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, I I completely forgot you had Night Takes H3 there. <laughs> oh. Completely I think we're we're both showing a lot of mercy to each other. <laughs> Yeah, that was a pure you. bluff. <laughs> I trusted you. I trusted you so much because I was so sure that you knew exactly what was going on. But no. The the, the takeaway lesson is never trust your opponent. Okay, no, Eric, no mercy. Okay, take my rook. I don't even care okay. about that rook anymore. Just, I'll gladly okay. take it. I can't believe I got this bamboozled. I can't believe I forgot about knight takes h3. I mean, I've I've done this in similar positions where the knight's already developed. I know I it's my turn, myself. guys. I know. Okay, this. All right. Uh, well, at least I'll get a knight, I suppose. Something. Okay, let's just do this. And like this, try to get our pieces out. Yeah, I'm realizing the like winning a rook in this game, it's not a huge advantage. Like rooks are so inactive for most of the game. I'm gonna try to trap Oops. you there. Okay, I'll try and trap you here. Okay. I have to do this again. Ah, oh, you saw what I wanted to do. Ah, oh, queen h5. Queen, no, queen f3. Oh, oh, that was clever, actually. I wanted to go queen f3. Uh -huh. I, I, I missed the previous move. Hmm. Okay, so... This... Okay, is the way it is. So maybe we'll just have to enjoy the pawn. Yeah. Have to enjoy the pawn. I can't believe it actually. Like this is actually insane. I never thought that psychology worked this way. Like it's actually crazy. Yeah, the, the the duck can like very easily cause hallucinations. <laughs> duck hallucinations. Um. Okay. This. Okay. And now you're getting out. Not only Where's getting out, but trap? trapping your knight. <laughs> I'm a trapping screen so this game. Tired <laughs> of you trapping all my pieces. I can't. The world does not want me to win today. World That's does all thanks to, to the win. duck. Okay. I got duck trapped. Very duck trapped. I wish I could do two moves with my normal pieces. <laughs> I uh, wish I could trade one of the duck moves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's a different variant. Maybe we'll have to combine these variants. Well. All 
right, let's try to let's try something at least. Ooh. I wanted to take your rook, but uh mm. subtle for the Ah knight. my rook was hanging, yeah. Okay. Thanks for telling me that my rook was hanging at least. That was good. I forgot about that one. I could have taken it previously, but then you would have won my bishop, so it was better trade just to win the knight. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do I this. really wish the duck was a knight. This is a nice um, duck shish kebab. Ooh. Oh no, my queen. Okay, oh, no, yes, this was a terrible game. No, this game, no, this game never okay. happened. Okay. Oh, are we doing one final game? Okay, one final, okay. very final duck chess game. This never happened, okay? okay? A very final one. Thank you so much. And Dushik, thank you for the prime as well. Okay. Okay, good luck. No mercy for real this time. No mercy for real this time. There's no mercy. Okay. We gotta concentrate and no this one. no on the king side either. <laughs> no. Ooh, okay. Sicilian. Sicilian? Wow. What are you looking at? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I thought you accepted my challenge. How did I start a new game? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Can I simul two games? Please do. I, I'm playing someone rated 2000. I don't know how that happened. You're playing, a, you're playing one of the best duck chess players in the world. <laughs> yeah. So, sorry about that. I'm offering well, a draw I wanna, here. I don't want you to lose your hard earned rating. That's true. I mean, if you if you want to observe me, maybe you can have like an educational type thing where I, sure. I talk through the moves. Um, sure. I'll see where where can I find the game? Right here. Uh. Yes. You go ahead and and you can concentrate okay. on your game, and I'll figure it out, Eric. Okay. Don't worry. You do your thing. You you win. You beat this two thousand guy and and get your hard earned rating. I'll figure it out. Um. Let's see, I'll mute myself for a moment. Okay, uh, I actually just ag agreed to a draw. So I, I lost two oh. rating points for that, but uh, oh, okay. maybe I'll play okay. that, that person later. Okay. Uh, let me actually right. send... Yeah, I have to make sure I don't like challenge a random person, but challenge... There like, we Anna go. Crowley. There we have okay. it. Sweet. Okay, nice. Okay, final game. Okay. No mercy. Best game ever. Okay, okay good luck. Good luck. Oh, I just realized Anna muted herself. So I'm I'm muted myself too on the call. And now this is actually really serious. Wow. Okay, I'm hitting the pawn. Uh, now I'm going for some some more aggressive open position. Let's play maybe this move. I'm blocking the bishop, the knight, the queen. E2 is a very pleasant home for the duck. It's kind of like a duck nest. Do ducks build nests? They probably do, right? They're bird creatures. Should I play Bishop H3 just to troll? <laughs> Only if it works. I don't think it quite works immediately. I like this position though. Ooh. Um, let's keep developing. And this and this. Amused. Amused. <laughs> Wait, it just said amused? That's the wow emoji though. Welcome back, TW. Oh, 
200 amused bits. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the, the wow emoji. I would have thought it would say wow rather than amused. Okay, so I'm waiting for her to play c4. And then I'm, I'm going to try and get this smothered duck mate. She might play some g pawn move. Yeah. Ooh, there's a funny line. I'm going to play this and then duck g2. It's very possible she'll be losing in one move. So I'm, I'm trying to uh, induce bishop e2. <laughs> Oh, is she going to do it? Oh, no mercy. Smothered duck mate. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Look at her expression. Oh, it's too much fun. Uh, she fell for uh, a funny line. Smothered duck mate. Yeah, the, usually the duck is a good defender of the king, but it's also a good smotherer of the king. My original intention was to like wait until c4 was played and then smother duck mate with knight d3, duck e2. But this is an alternative smothered duck mate. Are we going to do one more game? <laughs> Up. Eric, I have never been duck smothered mated. This yeah, is the first time. This is, this is a learning experience. Welcome to the smothered duck mate. I don't like this place. I don't want to be welcome here. I never want to be back in this smothered duck place. But this is the type of thing, like, it happens to you once, and then hopefully you'll, like, you, you, you won't have it happen to you again. <laughs> um, this is actually similar to the, one of the opening traps I was going to show you. Where okay. there, there's a sequence like after, I think after five moves that leads to a similar type of pattern. Okay, well you can go ahead and show it to me. So you can show it, yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you the moves. So if you just go back to the starting position, um, and th this is a line yeah. that you would play as black. So if you can flip the board, uh, you'll look from black's perspective. Yeah. And. Uh, so many people start with opening e4, duck e6, e4, Ra rather duck than e6, b3, yeah. duck b2, yeah. Oh, more people do e4, duck e6? Yes. I, oh. I've, I've seen this, um, at least this is a, my usual go-to opening is white. So okay. if you can play that on the board. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Just so you're Oh, experiencing. I don't think I can. You might have to go back one more move. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> and then black will play knight c6 and then duck d3. Okay. Uh, and then knight f3, usually duck e6. And now this is where you, you kind of begin the, the trapping sequence. You play d5 and duck d3. And at first, it looks like it blunders a pawn, right? Because white can take and play duck d7, blocking the queen from taking the pawn. Oh, take and duck d7, yeah. yeah. And then this is where black plays knight b4 and duck d3. So trying to win back the pawn. Knight b4 yeah. and duck d So there's no bishop c4. Yeah. There, white basically has an option, a couple options to try and defend between but pawns how to and four and in duck chess, though. So, what move would you play here as white? Um. Maybe c4 to keep it all protected. Yeah, c4 looks very natural, right? And then where do you put where would you put the duck? C four. I mean duck e two. It's obviously not working. So maybe I'll just go to d seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've I've had this position a handful of times or something very similar, and now it's black to move and win on oh, next and move. Oh, you put. 
Will you put the duck on each tail? Yeah, um, that's part of the move. Oh, this so knight d3, this. duck e2, which, which is a very similar pattern to what you just walked into. This was uh, smothered yeah, duck mate true. after just yeah. four moves. Yeah, that's actually really nice. So what, is c3 better? Or does so it fall for knight, the same knight thing? knight c3 is better because then that knight way C3, the yeah. d3 square is covered. But it's actually really interesting what you had said because um, after pawn c4, if you put that back on your board, yeah. So knight b4, pawn c4. Um, if white's going to play pawn c4, the best square for the duck is e2. You had initially said, like, obviously that's, that's not where the duck should be because it looks like knight d3 is going to be some other duck mates. But the reason for white putting the duck on e2 is to guarantee the duck will have to be moved away oh. and then king e2 can be played. True, 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 yeah. So let me see if I can put it up. Let's see. So in this after position, C, so C4 ducky two is is probably the best move for white. I don't know how to like do C4. Oh, there we yeah. go. I can just do like this and you move. And now if I play knight d3, I yeah. would have to move the duck away from e2, thus losing my knight. Oh, uh, exactly. Wow, and I literally said that that's a terrible move. <laughs> So it, that is actually some of these, so funny. these ideas in duck chess are very counterintuitive, where it looks like you trap your own pieces, but in trapping your own pieces, you're actually guaranteeing that your pieces will have more freedom once the duck moves after your opponent's turn. And this is yeah. a really important concept to understand. So c4 is probably the best move if you put the duck on e2. Okay, okay, that's so interesting. That so, is really cool. Yeah, it's it's evolving duck theory. I've like I haven't analyzed this so deeply, but this is one of the cool openings that I've been kind of looking into and trapping people with. The rose and trap, the rose and duck trap. Yeah, or the bong cloud duck. Rather than king e two, it's duck e two. <laughs> oh, you already cloud. you've already thought about a name or for it. Duck. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> bong duck. Wait, I love that. There's so that many is so cool. Invented. Yeah, you can really do a lot of play with the names of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. Thank you so much for showing that to me and to everyone else. That is really cool. Everyone in my community will take notes and uh, and play this in their own games. Yeah, and hopefully raise their own duck ratings. Yeah, yeah. So. We'll stop being 1,400 duck noobs like, <laughs> like I am right now. It takes but practice, yeah, but awesome. I, I think hopefully you've, uh, you've acquired a lot of experience through these games and... I learned some lessons the hard way, but uh, I, I hope to, to see you keep improving at duck chess and hopefully work your way towards duck mastery. 